Oh yeah, this guy's gonna bite. Here he comes. Got him. Got him, Eric. Big fish. Big fish? Oh yeah. Yeah, I got him. I got him. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> big crappies. This is today on Uncut Angling. We're drilling a ton of holes across this basin here. And we are hammering fish this side. Oh! There was uh, about three. Now look at stuck. that other one. Oh, he's gonna hit you. There yep, you go. There he is. <laughs> and look at how he ate that big bait. Is this about where you wanna start? Yeah, it looks pretty good. You wanna drill some holes and then I'll follow in behind you and check the depth and clean the holes and see if we mark some fish. Sure. I'll drill all the holes, Mike. Well, you always do. That so kind of seems like a normal trip with it's Mike. It's your auger that today. Hey, Aaron, do you want to drill all the holes? Aaron, would you like to drill all these holes? Because sure, Mike. Do you want to follow with me with the flasher and catch any easy biters that mark right away? I would like to catch a big slab instantly. <laughs> like, as soon as I mark one, I want to catch one. We're just going to cover the basin here today. Just drill until we mark something. Yeah. Get at her. How deep is that? It's 30 feet. 30? see a flicker here every once in a while, so I'm thinking that there's a fish just outside the cone angle. We'll see if I can bring him in to my lure. Oh, and look at that. There we go. It shouldn't take long. Got him. Got him, Aaron. Yeah, buddy. And there was another one down there, so maybe get your rod ready. We've been fishing here for what? 10 seconds? Is there more? Should I go? Big! <laughs> <laughs> okay! We got a slab here, boys! Woo! Yes, Aaron. Oh, look at that thing. Is that a beautiful fish? Is there oh, more wow. down there? Oh, you got him! He lifted oh. me. I feel pretty foolish. That is a big fish, Mike. Let that one go. And let this one come up. I just kept drilling holes all along this mud flat here. We got 30 foot in this part of the lake before it drops off into 50, 50, 60 feet on the main part of the lake. If we weren't coming into fish yet, we'd be drilling holes way farther apart just to try and find some activity here because we've got a huge flat here. Like this is all the same depth as far as you can see. The fact that we're on fish here means that we don't really need to move outside of this area at all probably the rest of the day. Well, not right now anyways because You've been drilling and I've been checking and uh, we've got fish in the area and we'll keep fishing these fish until we don't find any more. Come on, buddy. How is he not eating you? Oh. Okay, here we go. This one's gonna eat it. You can tell those marks. They start as flickers and they get bigger and bigger red. Right now Mike's got a big red mark on him. Obviously, he doesn't want what I want, what I'm presenting to him, but... Look at all those fish. You better go down. I'm going to go? Yeah. Drop down in the same hole, see if we can... Oh, there we go. Oh, yes. Heavy? Decent. I'm just going to hold the flasher to the yeah. side. You take your fish out, and I'm going right back down. Yeah. Big, man. Oh, big, 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 There's big, big. a big. Now we're talking. Slab. Oh, look at that thing. Woo. That is a hog, Aaron. Yeah. Yeah. And I worked him and worked him. You and did. Finally, finally, he came up and ate it. Right there, if you were using a smaller bait, one of those smaller fish on the screen would have eaten it, and he wouldn't even had a chance at this big fish. Yeah, exactly. Let her go. Beautiful. Get going, you big beast. <laughs> That's 16 inches all day long. Oh, my God. Are there still oh. more? Nope. This time I'm not going to tell Aaron when there's fish and I'm just going to catch him and let him keep drilling. No 
no fish. One flicker down at 16. Oh, okay. There's no fish here, Aaron. Oh, this shouldn't take long. Oh, look at that. Here he comes. There's no fish here, Aaron. Don't worry, buddy. You just keep drilling, buddy. I see a bent rod. Is it big? Um, it's not coming up the hole. No, it's not. Get out of the way. I want to put my jig down. Oh. <laughs> That's a nice crappie. <laughs> That's a beauty. You said there were more down there? Yeah. Nice. Oh. Nice. Nice one. Yeah, oh yeah. There's more. They weren't there right away, and as soon as I got my jig down, they started to come back into the cone. Oh, and now here, his comes, his, come. here comes his buddy, and he's eating it. No! Yes! <laughs> yes! That is so cool. Competition between buddies down there, and it's probably going to be a good one. It oh! It is a great one, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that one! These huge crappies are just the norm out here, and it's no mistake, this lake has all sorts of forage. It's got big smallies, it's got big walleyes, and it's also got monstrous crappies. I'm gonna get this one back in the water. Mike's gonna probably catch one in the meantime. Nice. This spot we're fishing here is just a big mud flat at the mouth of all these spawning bays, and these crappies don't make a big movement. You got a huge lake with all sorts of real deep water, and these fish travel less than a mile probably all year as they just come out onto this flat. Are you kidding me? I can't believe you didn't eat that. We're really working as a team here. We'll drill 40 holes if we have to before we mark we fish. Go. He'll eat it now. Got him. We got, got fish him. marking here. So Mike stopped to whack a couple. Feel good? Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the body on that fish. Oh, city. Just clobbered it. It's amazing how his mood changed when you jig below him and then you came back above him and Okay. Double. Mine is anywhere near yours. We've got a sweet, oh. oh. Itty bitty. Oh, sorry. You upside me, Mike. Big fish amber does it again. And away she goes. Woo! There is two there. Yes. Oh. Three. Here he comes. Take it from him. Take it, oh, here he comes. And there he yeah, is. Buddy. Yes. Wow, are they ever coming through in schools? All right. This is no onesie twosie stuff. Ooh. We are getting multiple, multiple There's fish a here. It's a drag puller. Oh yeah. my god, that's a monster. Oh. Oh my god. Look at the big humpback on that guy. Wow. Mike's gonna drop down and get another one. This has been probably the hot bait of the day for both of us here, me and Mike have both been using this in different colors. A plastic that Mike picked up when he was down in Arizona, and it's made by Lake Fork, right? Correct. Segmented on the back here, it's kind of a hybrid between a typical minnow body bait and one of the new age plastics that's got that bob tail on it. So I can just hold it still, or I can try to hold it still, and that tail's jiggling the whole time. And I've also got the minnow profile, which has just been so deadly over the years for these big crappies. But then the other thing, Aaron, is just the size of it, you know? Like, we like to go with bigger baits for the crappies that we fish because we're after big fish. We're fishing suspended fish mostly. The fish are active. And um, typically on active big fish, you might as well have the biggest lure possible. Yeah, absolutely. And plus, you got multiple fish on the screen here. We're plucking the biggest fish out of the school. At this point here, you can see we don't even have the scale set so we can see the bottom. We're in about 30 feet here on this part of the mud flat. And Mike's keyed in where he's been marking the fish all day suspended. And he doesn't even care how deep it is anymore. He's just working his jig in that zone. There we go. Boom! Oh. Did you see the the attitude of that fish change like instantly? What'd you do? Just lift it up away from him? Yeah. He's big. Nice. 
Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, he's got a bunch of buddies, huh? He does. And are you gonna get that one? I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get this one. Okay, get that Just one. Just flickering. You can see it's going green, and as it approaches me, it's gonna turn big time red. Intercept me. There we go. We got red mic. There you go. <laughs> Uh, so too, predictable. I was just going to say, too predictable. Ooh, that one's fighting good. As they say, sand's small. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god, look at this, this one, Aaron. Oh, look at that. Way to go, buddy! Yes! Woo! Big crappie. Look at how deep that is. Wow. Look at the size of that. that. Huge bait in the top of his mouth there. That oh, is a huge fish. That. I'm going to plop him back in here. Oh. You can see the way he left me here. My jig's hanging in a really unnatural position, and all that's changed is the knot swiveled around to the top of the hook there. So if I just swivel it back like we do after every single fish, have it straight up and down or a little bit favoring the back, and once this is in the water, it's gonna sit perfectly horizontal. It makes a little difference. Oh yeah, and you know how little details like that make such a big difference to catching big fish or no fish at all. And oh. There's another fish. This yeah. one's going good. He followed his bait down, now he's coming back up with it. Okay, here comes three, two, one. Feel big? This one feels really good, Aaron. They're all good, oh. Mike. Okay, yeah, it's oh. big. It's you big. got him? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I got him. Oh, <laughs> yes! What a way. To end the day, basically. I mean, we've been getting these all day, but this is as big or bigger than anything we've caught today. That is a true monster oh, crappie. Okay, wow. Back down. Yes. Perfect release, bud. Awesome. <laughs> Woo! What a day! <laughs> Uncut Angling is proudly partnered with Alumacraft Fishing Boats, Humminbird Electronics, Minn Kota Trolling Motors, Shimano Reels, G-Lumis Rods, Power Pro Line, 